Hi everyone, welcome to the Abhinash Panda show and to a new episode of this podcast. So on this show, this show will be in English. So because I have taken the note from this book and I have uh, uh, taken the summary of this book, we will discuss on this podcast in English. So it will be better for all to understand all the in its original language and everyone will be comfortable i also think so this book's name is you can sell who is which is written by mr sip khera who is a sales professional once in a time he was into insurance selling and he gained some expertise and from his learning he written this book after uh, the success of his first book like you can win he written this book like you can sell and he have described all his experiences how he have gone through selling and what are the key points he have uh, derived from his experience from his journey and he have beautifully explained us over this book and it is uh, it is accepted most of the sellers and it helped a lot of people to gain their experience and the skill in selling and open their mind up mindsets so without any further delay let's uh, start this podcast and start discussing the summary of this books and my learning of, of this books i will divide the uh, this podcast into two parts so in the first part we will uh, 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 discuss the first part or the uh, first part of the summary i have derived and in the second part we will discuss the rest so let's start the first part Well, let's start about selling. Why anyone should know selling? Or in my channel, there are a lot of people who are not into selling, who are uh, into different different fields apart from selling, or they are considering selling is not their cup of tea. So I would like to tell you here: everyone is selling. Even I am selling. I am doing a job in a uh, MNC, uh, but still I am selling. you are selling he is selling she is selling anyone you can see in your eye he is trying to sell something let's discuss how a candidate at a job interview sells his candidature and the interviewer selling his company whenever you go to a interview or sit in a interview you try to sell your personality you sell your skills you sell his your candidature like how you are eligible for that job you try to convince them and convincing something i can say that is related to sales so you are trying to sell your candidature and at the same time the interviewer he himself trying to sell you his company if you are well deserving or if you are offer it in your hand and he is trying to prove how his company can benefit you and you can join their company and can uh improve yourself and his company will be perfect for you so he is trying to sell his company in front of a candidate second thing a boy and girl they are trying to sell each other how like if they are proposing each other if they are partners if you are uh, he is trying to propose you to marry him or she is trying to uh propose you to marry her vice versa at the same time each partner is trying to sell his love or sell her love he is trying to convince you like he can be a better partner for you he how he can be a, or she can be a perfect partner for you they are trying to convince you or they are trying to sell you so sell skill is helpful here if you are into selling you can also do this in your relationships third thing like a politician making speeches to get votes you see a lot of politician today they are very good public speakers they they give or they deliver outstanding speeches in their native language or in the global language in the global stages in the national stages they deliver uh, excellent kind of speeches why in order to get the votes in order to convince the people to vote them as they are the most deserving politicians so that is how those they people try to sell us their approach to vote them a politician is even selling you a lawyer arguing with his client 
client's case in court a lawyer argues for you in the court to give you justice and to prove his points in front of the judges in front of the law lawfully he tries to defend you so he tries to sell his approach he tries to sell his ideology uh, or uh, pro proves he have so he also tries to sell so in this way anybody you see in the world or see around you in the society he or she tries to sell something to you so selling is a global act or a global approach that anyone or everyone should learn all the sales professional are self employed entrepreneurs unless they consider themselves self employed they will not succeed so selling is not just a job it is more than a job every individual in sales is a self employed entrepreneur they can earn 1000 rupees or they can earn 1 lakh rupees or even they can make 1 crore rupees millions of rupees they can or dollars they can earn from selling selling their goods they will get some commissions they will get some uh, percentage so they don't have to depend on, upon someone apart from his pay to get that check he knows this is the number i have to follow this number to get some sales and get some profits or sales out of that and i will make that commissions very easily so that is how a sales person work unless and until they consider this themselves self employed they will not succeed easily in this business or in this selling game so it is most important next thing is selling is a win win game or it is a lose lose game let me explain you how whenever you sell something to somebody you try to give him a solution for his problem if you are not doing that you are not doing the proper selling or it is not the ethical selling and if you are not giving him the proper approach the proper solution for his problem or of the proper product and unless and until your customer feels like he is gaining something he is getting some profits out of that purchase then that sale will not be done for you at the particular moment he will not buy the product from you and in the future if if you convince him however and he buys the product from you in the future he will not remain a uh, uh, um, customer of yours and i have explained this concept in my customer uh, value journey video uh, you can see that easily like how we can treat a customer for lifetime by upselling by selling some different goods uh, by selling some high value products in future also so if he is not getting any profits or gain out of that purchase that is not a good sales so this is called a lose 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 game here your buyer will lose or and the seller will lose as well it will not be profit making for each and everybody so this is a lose lose game at the other hand selling is also a win win game you can get a win win situation also how it is simple whenever you are selling something or some products or some goods to somebody and he is getting some solution out of that he is buying your product and happy with that purchase he is feeling like he is gaining something he is gaining some profits and uh, he is happy with that and the buyer is making some money out of that and some satisfaction then it is beneficial for the buyer and the seller so here is a win win situation for everyone so selling is also a win win game and is it is also a lose lose game as it can benefit both the parties or it can make lose for both of the parties so let's discuss like uh, the next point like the problem is not that people cannot learn the art of selling the reality uh, is that they lack the attitude the, to learn people think that in their mindset selling is a different approach or it is not a respectful act 
and society has ma- made that image that selling is bad sales people cheat others they they lies so we lack the attitude to learn but the reality is selling is not a tough act or selling is not something that is difficult to learn it can be learned very easily but the reality is that you should have the attitude to learn this skill i will tell you how you can learn most of the people fail in life because they lack talent not because they lack talent but because they lack a burning desire to succeed most of the people don't have their burning desire inside them to succeed to achieve something to ful- to fulfill something in their life and that is the mo- uh, the most frequent reason that people fail in their life we will discuss what is burning desire ahead of this podcast or in the next podcast what is burning desire we will uh, learn in depth but for now let's focus on our next learning just like you cannot learn to swim by reading a book similarly the profession of selling cannot just be learned or taught unless it is practiced on the ground selling is a field work selling is a practical work you can read hundreds of books on swimming cycling driving but unless and until you practice that on the ground on the river on the road you cannot gain expertise on that or you cannot even learn learn that similarly sales is a skills you can gain a lot of knowledge i have a lot of knowledge but i may not have the same experience there are lots of people who have a uh, much more expertise or they have a quite good experience than me because they have worked more than me on the ground they have faced more difficulties obstacles they have faced lot of customers they have negotiated so many products uh, they have uh, closed so many deals so this is a experience based game this is a practical game you need to learn and you can learn actually by going to the field not by reading any book not by listening to somebody you can gain uh, uh, get the idea how it is done what are the concepts but more thing you can learn by going to the ground physically and approaching the people and following the game sometimes in life you got to be unkind to be kind is a uh, saying in that book so it is a reality of life sometimes in the life you got to be unkind to be kind leadership is not a popularity concept uh, contest leadership is not actually a popularity con- uh, contest it is uh, something different than uh, this you have to set examples you have to motivate others you have to inspire others you have to set paths you have to set examples you have to take initiatives you have to see the failures so it is not just a game of gaining popularity whoever thought like uh, leadership is a game of gaining popularity or it is a popularity concept it is not that sometimes you have to speak like a parent and sometimes you have to speak like a teacher sometimes you have to educate your buyer about your product you have to enlighten them uh, about the benefits of your product about any service and they might not have any idea on that second thing sometimes you have to treat like a parent sometimes uh the uh, people are immature regarding uh, the product regarding uh, life so sometimes you have to treat like a parent like parent always think for the good of their son or daughter like that as a seller you have to think always the good side or the benefits for you buyers so you have to act like a parent and you have to act like a teacher to educate them to enlighten them regarding your product service and whatever you offering is selling is more a matter of will than skill and we need both between will and skill will is more important than skill 
skill can be matched but when you are down and hurt that's the time when you should well going to pull you up one more time to get up and make one more call and that is the winning edge so always your skill power can be matched or skill can be gained but your will power is that power which will motivate you to bounce back or in your sales to uh, it will uh, inspire you to make one more call to make one more approach to go to another do door so your will power is most important than your skill power but both are important but more importance is given on uh, your will the difference between ordinary and extraordinary people is only extra the extraordinary people do extra works they learn extra they go to extra peoples they make extra calls and they make extra money so that is the only thing they do more effort they make extra effort and they get extra as well why do you go to a doctor 10 miles away by passing many other doctors on the way is he the most qualified probably not why do you go to a mechanic 10 miles away to get your car repaired by passing many other mechanics on the way is he the most qualified probably not something tells you that you are dealing with the right person what is that something that something is called the x factor what is the x factor x factor is a institution or a god feeling it is always the intangible spark that connects us together so we practically do that in our life sometimes there are lots of shops there are lots of shopkeepers on the way but we go to a particular shop why we go to go to a particular restaurant we go to a particular hotel we go to a particular uh, bar or club why because they have some uh, x factor in them might be because of their behavior because of their offerings because and they makes us feel good we feel more secure we feel uh, uh, they make more trust on us they good make good relationship and that x factor turns their visitors into a lifetime buyer and they visit to them every time repeatedly again and again doctors mechanics teachers whatever you think in your life or whomever you consider they follow the same strategy or it is a automatic phenomenon you can say that works in our life in our mindset and that turns the visitor into a lifetime buyer so we have to develop that expector inside ourselves to make uh, to become more productive and to make make more produce more result in our selling journey people buy more from the heart rather than the head a good sales professional is not only makes a presentation but he sells himself his product and the company in that order so in order to sell some product you have to sell yourself first if you are not a good communicator if you are not making a good bridge between you uh, between your buyer and yourself then your product is no, not going to be sold you have to develop some trust factor you have to give them some assurity you have to make them feel good by your appearance by your language by your body language by your gestures you have to make them feel good then only they will think if that person is if this person is making me feel good then if i'll buy his product or buy her product definitely that product will also make me feel good that is the reason they sell uh, they uh, buy from us and we have to make that we work hard we Uh, this is not from uh, the book but uh, this is for the motivation you can say we work hard we make money we do it for ourselves that is not li uh, life we go out seek for the people who need our help we make their lives better we become that sponge that absorbs all kind of negativity and we become that person 
who can emit beautiful positive vibes and when we realize that we have changed someone's life and because of us that person didn't give up that is the day we live so we have to become that person to inspire other to make others a uh, path obstacle free we have to become that person we have to emit such beautiful vibes from ourselves for others and that is the true sense of leadership now get back to the book selling is not uh, uh, nothing but the transfer of enthusiasm from the seller to the buyer so all your enth- enthusiasm needs to be transferred to your buyer and all the thing you have to do you have to stay energetic by the by a positive manner by a positive sense and that is how you can transfer your enthusiasm to your buyers winners compete against themselves they better at their own records cons- uh, constantly so there is a beautiful story of michael phelps you can see it on the youtube or somebody or somewhere michael phelps is a person who broken his records many times he uh, uh, he won so many gold medals in swimming and that is the nature of winner winner uh, never a true winner a true uh, uh, true winner we can say they never compete with anyone else they always compete themselves they try to be their better person they try to become that person who is better than the last person or the last person there is a movie uh, sultan and in that movie mr salman khan have acted a boxer or a, a mma fighter who tries to be his person 2.0 or he explained the real fight in our life is with ourselves with our alter ego with our past person with our bad memories and that is how we people develop and that the same story works with a sales person as well he fights with himself who who, who tries to develop his skills will power and his results as well as a long as you have your eyes on the goal you don't see any obstacles the moment you take your eyes off you of your goal you start seeing the obstacles i have made one more video in my channel i have uh, in which i have explained a beautiful story of mahabharata once guru drona was uh, examining his uh, or teaching to his students and where he made a bird made of a mud and uh, he uh, he have hidden that uh, bird inside the branches of a tree and he called one by one his uh, students and asked them to aim on the bird so when they started aiming on that durjodhana came then bhima came uh, yudhishthira came one by one all his students came and he asked one by one ki what are you seeing on the tree one said i am seeing the bird one said i am seeing uh, everybody said i am seeing the bird then the guru asked what else you were seeing somebody said i am uh, i am seeing the branches i am seeing seeing the fruits i am seeing the leaves i am seeing the uh, roots i am seeing the sky i am seeing the sun i am seeing the hills etc etc they have narrated so many things but at the end his favorite student came arjuna and he aimed at that bird and then the guru asked arjuna what are you seeing arjuna said i am only seeing the bird i am only seeing the eye of the bird then the guru asked are you not seeing myself i am your guru you cannot ignore me and arjuna politely said guru ji you are my guru you are my teacher i respect you a lot but right on that time right on this time i am aiming on my uh, goal and right now i am on my duty so i am only focusing on my aim and i am only seeing that so i can see only the eye of that bird then the guru asked him to shoot the arrow and he released his arrow and that arrow directly hit in that bird and his aim was hit in his goal was achieved so this is a beautiful story so when we focus on on our goal we only see our goal not on the obstacles like the branches like the tree like the fruits etc etc but whenever we don't see our goal 
we see all kind of obstacles in our life in our sales journey when we we'll focus on our selling on our customer we only only focus on benefiting him but whenever we see uh, when we don't focus on our goal achieving our targets then we can see all kind of obstacles what are the disadvantages what are the lacunas what are the difficulties we start seeing all that things so this is a good le- uh, learning we can focus on losers don't like to work hard winners don't like to work hard either but they worked hard anyway losers don't like to get up in the morning winners don't like to get up in the morning either but they get up anyway and that is the difference between the winner and loser same you feel like uh, i am loser i am not uh, i don't uh, find it easy to sell somebody or i feel hesitated to approach somebody so let me tell you one reality one winner or a good sales person even feels hesitation to hesitate someone but they do it either they approach somebody they go to the prospect and say hello they make friend with that and that still feels so weird to do it for the first time for the second time or for the hundredth time but they do it anyway and that is the difference between winner and loser loser don't do it and winner do it anyways so you have to be a winner you have to do it even if you are hesitated or if your will is against you you have to do it at either way a common cold can be treated by a medication but a positive attitude had to be developed over a period of time it is the most difficult part and it is a long journey to develop a positive attitude a positive character my last podcast was in hindi and it was on the characteristic building on a character development how you can develop a good character or a good attitude in inside yourself you can watch or you can listen to that podcast i have explained beautifully and that is actually required in a sales professional or inside any professional to become successful in his journey to stay focused and to focus on the goals when a sales person realizes that the profession is not about making sales but involves helping others and solving problems he becomes a professional and you have to actually become a professional no matter you are in netto marketing you are in affiliate marketing even if you are a door to door sales person no matter whatever you are doing but you have to be a professional and when you become a professional you make more results and you get more productivity try it in your life you will start seeing the differences you will start seeing the results to succeed in the profession of selling one need to develop proven and repeatable methods of selling which can give positive results constantly i already said it is a field work you have to go to the field you have to gain some experience but before going to the field you have to prepare yourself and in order to prepare yourself you have to learn yourself you, uh, you have to learn it yourself you have to educate yourself you have to gain lots of knowledge regarding selling the different different approaches how to approach someone how to close the sales how to negotiate with that person all those things are written proven and repeatable and you have to learn that you have to focus on your learning and whenever you learn you can actually practically implement or it can inspire you to implement it on your field and get the results to success so the role of a good coach who is a good coach the role of a good coach is to turn a group of people to a committed team where each person is a star performer so a good teacher good coach a good leader inspires a team a group of people to actively working people or in a team everyone is a star performer and he or she can do that whenever he is a expert on that and he can set examples he is not a a uh, boss like he is commanding you something he is uh, giving some commands and saying do that anyways he is setting examples he is inspiring somebody he is inspiring the team by his own examples and he is following the path and also showing the path then only he can become a good uh, expert a good coach or you can be the same 
once after a time whenever you are expert in your sales you have made a uh, lots of results then only you will be pushed to become a leader you will be pushed to become a team leader you will be pushed to become a supervisor and then only you have to focus on that i have to focus on my team and have to turn them into a star performer so that is all about sales we can implement in our life and that is all about the first part of you can sell books summary the next part we will discuss in the next podcast in the next episode so i hope you like this uh, podcast and have learned so many things from my notes from the author i hope you will implement in uh, this in your sales journey and will excel in sales and will set examples and will make yourself proud make your family proud and make me proud as well so thank you so much for sticking till the end of this podcast i wish you have a good one wonderful day so stay safe take care and goodbye